Hello and welcome, my name is Ahura and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nazalis 4 where we are playing as France going for the Better Than Napoleon achievement. Um, once again we got us into a war that was a bit harder than I had expected. Uh, I got, went to war with Savoy and Savoy only had a few minor allies but uh, they were still a part of the Empire. Uh, even though they actually left the Empire during the war, the Emperor called in a bunch of allies. So now I'm, I'm kind of in a big war against a lot of different countries here in the Empire, so... Uh, hopefully I can win it just by like keeping my troops here and finding them whenever they get into my territory, but... We are getting kind of low on manpower, so... Might end up being a problem. Let's see. But now I'm just staying back. I just, uh, well, I technically lost a battle in Savoy, uh, but we took out more soldiers than, than they did, so I guess it's a win. Uh, let's get our, our diplomats working. Brittany, are you still allied with Burgundy? Yes. Maybe we should just, uh, we have all of the cores and all of the claims from Scotland. I think I'll end up just force less license and go. Um, should we? I think we'll go for some Aragon. They do still have Ottomans as an ally though. How's England looking? Allied with Novgorod. I don't think they can help them that much. Um, where's our troops running out in 93? I think I'm just gonna fabricate some some uh, claims down here in the bottom. Fabricate claims on uh, Gloucestershire. Let's get Savoy. And Navarra is in this its tiny little army to help us. We will make Navarra big in the next war though. I'm gonna give them as much territory as possible down here. I'm probably only gonna take this for myself in the maybe a province over here. Uh, in the war against Aragorn. Aragorn. Um, where is my trade fleet? Uh, they have, they have almost nothing. Uh, the tr these ships be enough to blockade here? Not completely. Send one Karak up here, maybe that's enough? Yes it is. That way we can get a bit faster siege here, get Provence back. How are the... the if it, like Savoy is completely broken of course, uh, otherwise the other countries are fairly, fairly um, enthusiastic about this war. Uh, we need to use some administrative power soon. I think I'm just gonna buy this ahead of time. Which means we can pass the Act of Uniformity. Well, we might as well, even though we're not going to use it right now. So this is going to be mountains, but I think it's worth it just to destroy that army. When we have a small army on its own. And we got Provence! Let's send these guys up here as well. And I took Lyonne. We'll just take that right back. 
they jump into the fight. It needs to end before the stack comes. Ah, I think I'm just going to end it now. Uh, we lost this one big. That was a bad engagement. And they're gonna attack us down here as well. Very nice. At least this time they're attacking. We may still use because of all the morale we lost by retreating. Oh, we won. But, yeah, I will want an okay battle here. Uh, I think I'm gonna send these guys up and take Lyonne back. And then I think we just need to recuperate for a little bit. Maybe take our Vern back. Able rivalry. That's, that's, well, it's our opinion of them, so it doesn't really affect that much, but... I think they're gonna try to take Kunio back. Yep. Which is a bit... ...annoying. Um Oh it's health. Um uh, I think we're still gonna take the engagement. So you can finally get rid of those. Not more fun advisor style. And we got the Austrians to walk away from this seat, so I guess that's okay. And we won. Let's stack wipe. Boy here in Toulouse. Take that province back. Uh, let's just send a thousand guys to Piedmont. Ooh, they're attacking us down here. Let's send them down here then. It is hills. It's gonna be an expensive battle, but hopefully we'll win it. Uh, yeah, I think we won this. Uh, they lost 7,000 against our six. How is it looking in the ledger now? So we are at 12,000 manpower, uh, which we will lose, so we'll just be at 40, 44,000 troops uh, with no manpower and Austria is down to 25,000 manpower with 11,000 men. They are a bit of ahead then in manpower. We could always like um, stop the war and only get a couple of of the um, provinces, I guess. Taking them all will give a lot of... I think we'll just go for these two, otherwise we'll get too much aggressive expansion anyway. Get some money, get some war reps maybe. Give up claims. I think we're just gonna do this. Um, get some money, get a couple provinces, um, and get out of this war. Um, I think these two belong together. 
So what are the next wars? Next wars is probably gonna be against against Aragon, I think. Either that or England. Maybe Scotland actually. It'd be nice to get Scotland under our And we they don't have they have oh they are allied themselves with Denmark, that's right. Um but I think that's gonna be the next war, so I think I'm gonna send my soldiers up here to Normandy and Ka. And uh one of the the clergy demands more provinces. Well let's get them a let's get them Cuneo. Maybe just ah we'll get them Cuneo because it's already high autonomy, uh and even gonna get higher now. Um and we'll wait with the course until we've gotten the war exhaustion a little bit down. Let's go back to speed four. Let's get our diplomats working. Get another claim up here in Oxfordshire. Oh I I I took Glomorganshire instead of Gloucestershire up here. Um, did we, we should probably have gotten a little bit of, maybe not until we core some more naval force limit. No, Scotland, you cannot get access. And I'm gonna go down to half maintenance for a while while we recruit from this war. wait a year or so before we pay for those costs. Probably get the war exhaustion all the way down this war, or this time. Um, and Ferrara was annexed by the Papal State. Military divided. Uh, we want siege ability. Um, I think I'm gonna save up. Nothing really of this. Any of this I need. Maybe the tax modifier could be okay, but okay. So we can get the last military one. I think. I think I'm gonna get that, and then we can catch up in tech afterwards. Uh, there's five discipline really nice and uh, morale recovery is also really nice and uh, that was a pretty good little war I think um, it was a bit of a shame uh, like it's not that I it's not a, it's a that much of a problem that we had to fight the Emperor, but since they kind of went out of the Empire not even a year after, that was a bit of a shame. But of course we could have, have known that, uh, because I think the air event still fires pseudo, pseudo random time, it's like within a certain uh, number of years. Um, but it means though, that we have a much easier time of spreading this way around, uh, outside around the Emperor now, we can Go to war with all of this without having to worry. Maybe we should fabricate on Genoa to get these this nice center of trade. Who are they allied with? Aragon. So we're gonna fight them anyway. Gas Gasikumoku. What the where are they? But allied with someone all the way over here. I think I'm gonna get, get a claim here just. So we have it, and then we're gonna get on Glamorganshire up here. Oh, Gloucestershire, yeah. We have on Glamorganshire. And we are gonna get uh, less ab uh, aggressive expansion. That could have been nice before that war, but anyway. Let's 
skilled diplomat. One of our ambassadors has a great uh, pre-natural preternatural ability for understanding the entangling alliances around us and the implications of taking one wrong step or saying just the right word. How shall we use this great statesman? We can either get one diplomatic reputation or fifty diplomatic power. I think we're just gonna go for the power points. Um I'm kinda of thinking about what we want to do for our next idea. Uh, I don't think it's for a it's for not to two technologies, but I think I'm either gonna go administrative, um, perhaps religious if the if the reformation fires and it's uh, getting to be a problem, maybe religious. Otherwise, um, either one more military idea, or maybe even exploration, so we can start uh, getting some colonies just for the money. Tyrannical nobles, a representative of the people living in an area dominated by one of the most prominent families of the nobility, has approached the throne today, imploring the king to take action against what he claims are systematic abuses of power against the people there. As the ruler of France, Charles VIII de Valois, has a responsibility to protect his people, not doing so will make us appear weak and may harm the long-term growth of the province. The nobility would likely not take kindly to chastising such a powerful member of the ranks of ever. So, we can lose one base tag and gain 15 lo loyalty, or we can lose 15 loyalty. Uh, I will I will take the loyalty. Well, one base tag is permanent loyalty. And... I used to get some manpower back. I'm still thinking this must be a like there must be a, a, a error with this uh, pop up. I I can't believe that it's permanent loyalty. I think it must go away like after ten years. We should get some more cannons. Ultimate, uh, out of the war, just money. Who's Burgundy in the war with? They are in probably in war with Lorraine again. Also, got the joy of fighting the Emperor and all of his nice allies. How is he looking in? Uh, he's gonna win. Like, if it's a tie, then the Emperor will win. So unless someone else can get ahead, uh, he'll he'll get it. He still doesn't trust us. But we should get that alliance with Poland that I've been talking about forever. Because he will be a nice ally against the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, that's a volume. Hamelstead has been in a war. And royal marriage. And I think I will improve relation and then support air. Uh, no, Savoy, you cannot gain, give, gain access to my lands. I think I will remove this castle. It's not really doing anything except making a annoying target for uh, for my enemies. Same with this one. Like in theory, you wanted your like in real life you wanted your castles to be in mountains because they were much more defensive. But since I'm usually not defending my own uh, castles directly, but having to assault them when someone else takes them. It's kind of annoying, so I'm gonna take away this one. Uh, I'm gonna keep these two just because they still restrict movement and stuff, uh, and are in hills, but... Uh, this is grasslands. Maybe I should build one here. Um, ah. A little 
bit more down in army maintenance. I think I'll start on that core now. Those cores. Francois de Chambly. The mint is functioning as a full efficiency as the coinage has never been so pure. So we can either gain more stability and yearly inflation adjustment or prestige. And we'll definitely get prestige because we are already at maximum uh, stability. So we got a huge stability uh, prestige boost. We've lost all of our nice uh, bonuses though. And we need some power protection. We can maybe insult England. Why didn't that help? Uh, we can try to insult Burgundy. And that helped. Anyway, I think we need to go to war with England next. Either, or maybe Aragon. That would be much easier, I think. Mm, although the Ottomans have such a huge navy. This will be a problem. Aragon still has some galleys, but 45 galleys is a lot. So I think England will be it. Uh, they are. They don't have really any, any important alliances. Get that claim on Cornwall. I really want to go to Scot, war with Scotland first, though, so we can make them our vassal. Okay, Scotland is the next war target. Let's move a stack up there. Keep the other one to deal with if Denmark and Norway comes here. He is allied with Denmark, so that is Denmark, Norway and Sweden still. Will that be a problem? I have quite a lot of galleys, but they are only effective if we fight in the inland seas here. Uh, what about armies? Denmark has 15,000. Sweden has 13,000. Norway probably have like 6,000 or something like that. Let's look. Norway, 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 8,000. I don't think they're gonna be a problem. Um, the only thing is that Denmark have any nasty allies, Scotland and Muscovy. Well, Muscovy certainly can't do anything. Uh, the only problem with them would be that uh, it would be hard to press to get them out of the war. I think I'll just go to war with Scotland and then that'll be it. I was just thinking maybe we could get some of these islands as well, but I, I think that would be too much. Anyway, uh, we're getting towards the end of this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, um, if you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel, it will help me out a lot, uh, otherwise I hope to see you in the next video and until then have a good day.